What's up you guys? How are you? Welcome back to another video. The time has finally come for me to share with you where it is that I buy my healthier grocery items at. So sometimes people will ask me, Cindy, where do you go grocery shopping at? Because you're always finding all these healthy grocery items. Or sometimes you may be wondering what healthy items you can buy at a specific store. So I'm really excited about these videos. I kind of mentioned that they would be coming here on my channel in this specific video here. If you missed that video, by the way, I talked about seven super easy tips that you can take in order to save money on groceries every single week so i highly recommend you check that video out i can leave it linked down below if you did miss that now for these videos that are coming up on my channel they are going to be the start of a mini series and these videos are going to be really helpful for you if you are trying to lose weight overall live a healthier lifestyle or you find yourself just a little stressed out and overwhelmed when you go grocery shopping. I know that one of you out there is going to the store and you just want a healthier ketchup, okay? You just want to find a healthier ketchup out there because you love ketchup so much, but you're overwhelmed by all of these options out there. There is a ton of options when you go grocery shopping, right? And a lot of the time, these options, they're not the healthiest for us nor do they contain the healthiest ingredients. And if you've been following me along in my YouTube channel or on my Instagram account, you will know that I really care about the ingredient label. I talk about it all the time. And the main reason why I talk about it all the time is because it completely changed my life. Once I started paying attention to the ingredients in my food, I was able to lose 35 pounds effortlessly and so now i just want to help guide you along the process of grocery shopping that way when you do go grocery shopping you know exactly what to look for so if you do find this video helpful please be sure to give it a like send it over to a friend who is trying to meet their health and fitness goals as that really helps me help other people as well and also subscribe to the channel because next thursday i will be going over to target or as some people would call it, Target, and I will be recording the healthy items that you can find at Target. But for now, let's go ahead and start off with this healthier Walmart haul. Alrighty fam, starting off with the produce section, there is a couple of things that I get from here, including lemons, limes, bananas, oranges. As far as apples go though, I will hardly buy from Walmart. I usually get them at places like Whole Foods or Fresh Time, but if I do buy apples from Walmart, I buy them organic since I just love the taste so much better of an organic apple. Every single time I have tried non-organic apples, they just taste a bit off or even bitter to me. I also like buying kiwis, blueberries, raspberries, pineapple and of course my favorite mangoes called atofo mangoes these mangoes you guys are so sweet i love making mango salsa with them the more yellow you buy them the sweeter they will taste vegetables i'll buy sweet potatoes russet potatoes garlic onion organic tomatoes things like that if there's one thing you should definitely be buying from walmart it's their avocados Hands down, the best price at 98 cents each. I tried to buy them already somewhat ripe, but if you can't get ripe ones, just buy them green and put them in a paper bag overnight for a day or two and they will be ready to eat. Over here, we have some organic foods. You got some romaine hearts, carrots, broccoli that you can cut up yourself to put into a salad, for example, cucumbers, red, yellow, and green bell peppers, kale, and celery. If you are wanting to make your own salads at home for a meal prep idea, they do have some organic greens. There's larger and smaller containers depending on how much you need. They have baby spinach, spring mix, which is what I get, and a combo of the spinach and spring mix as well. Moving on to the nuts and seeds section, there is a lot going on here and it will always be best to pay attention to the ingredient label when buying these types of things. That way you're able to find the healthiest option. I personally love buying pistachios, almonds, cashews, and peanuts. Now to give you an example of the ingredients, let's take a peek at the almonds that I buy. There is whole natural almonds, roasted and salted, smoke flavored, and the last one is dry roasted and lightly salted. If you take a look at the whole natural almonds, you'll notice that the only ingredient is almonds. That's it. 
But if you look at the roasted and salted, this is where they start adding in inflammatory oils, such as vegetable oils that aren't so healthy for you. If you look at the smoke flavored, the ingredient label just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now the dry roasted and lightly salted actually is a good choice as well as the only ingredients in this one are dry roasted almonds and sea salt. With that being said, here's a way you can save some money. For $6.48, you can buy the Great Value brand Whole Natural Almonds. Again, the ingredients are just almonds for this one. Or you can buy the ones next to it, same exact size. The only ingredients in this one is just almonds as well, but it's for 50 cents more at $6.98. Here's another example. We have dry roasted and salted and dry roasted and unsalted peanuts. For the unsalted, these are the ingredients. It's just dry roasted peanuts, but for the salted version, the ingredient label is much longer, including ingredients that could be hindering your health and fitness goals. So in this case, I would definitely buy the unsalted version at $1.98. If you compare that to the brand next to it, pretty familiar brand right the ingredients on this are just peanuts and sea salt which is great but you'll be paying two dollars and 67 cents for them let's talk about peanut butter now shall we since we just finished talking about peanuts i love peanut butter you guys however on the day that i went to record this the peanut butter that i love was sold out so i'll put the peanut butter that i get on the screen so that you can get a visual the ingredients on it are just roasted peanuts and sea salt Okay, let's talk about cooking oils because switching over to healthier cooking oils is one of the simplest things you can do for your health. You really want to stay away from the oils I'm showing you right now as these are inflammatory oils like canola, corn, soybean, and vegetable. What you want to buy instead are things such as coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, and avocado oil. These are going to be much healthier for you. The other thing I also pay attention to is the packaging the oils are in. I don't like buying oils in plastic as the plastic can seep into the oil and possibly damage it. One of my favorite oils to buy from Walmart, hands down, is the avocado oil. Not the one in plastic, but this one from Chosen Foods next to it. It's in a dark glass bottle, which is awesome, and I really love cooking with it because it does have a higher smoke point of 500 degrees. Heading over to the meat department, this is an area where Walmart has really been leveling up their game lately, which is quite exciting to see. I found organic grass-fed ground beef. This is the 93% lean. We have organic grass-fed ground beef patties and we have organic grass-fed ground beef in the 85% lean. Now, since it is summertime, there's more family get-togethers, parties, and times that you're just gonna grill outside. So I wanted to show you my favorite healthier hot dogs because there's obviously a lot of different brands out there. So the hot dogs that I like to buy are from the brand Applegate Naturals. These are their uncured beef hot dogs, 100% grass-fed beef, which is going to be healthier for you and their ingredients are going to be a lot cleaner in comparison to other hot dog brands. Moving over to the freezer section, Walmart carries my favorite breakfast sausages in bulk. And of course, when I went to record this video, my favorite were sold out, so I'll put a picture of them here on the side for you to reference. This is their chicken and maple, but my favorite is the pepper turkey, and it's also from the same exact brand of hot dogs that I just showed you. Now, I can't remember the last time I bought eggs from Walmart, but I like to buy pasture raised as they are going to be the healthiest eggs for you. Over in the yogurt section, we got a lot of options and it's a little overwhelming because 99% of these are not the healthiest, if I'm being completely honest. And the only thing that is worth buying in this section is Siggy's. Of all these flavors that I have tried, strawberry is my favorite. I didn't see it here when I went, but on the packaging, there is no high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no sucralose, you know, all the things that you're seeing here. And then on the side, you can see the ingredient label. Let's talk about breakfast because now that you know what breakfast sausages you can buy, some pancakes or waffles on the side would be great. Am I right? Let me know down in the comments whether you like pancakes or waffles. Per usual, there is a lot of options, but I love buying birch benders if I'm ever craving pancakes. 
Walmart has by far the best price point and the paleo flavor is one of my favorites since it does have the best ingredients. For those of you that are not familiar with Birch Benders, they are dairy, gluten, and grain free. And all you need to do is just add water. If you walk a little past the pancakes, you'll see all the snack and protein bars Walmart has to offer. There's Cliff, Kind, RX bars, and Lar bars, just to name a couple of them. But then we have Epic bars. And this, my friends, is where it's at. My favorite is the venison in sea salt and pepper. It is 100% grass-fed venison, and it's made up of some awesome ingredients. The other flavor they had was this beef and apple and uncured bacon flavor, which I have not tried yet, but Walmart so far has the best price point. If you are going to buy them individually, everywhere else I've seen them at $2.50. These Lara bars are my favorite grab-and-go snacks. Apple pie is one of my favorite flavors. So the ingredients on this are just dates, almonds, unsweetened apples, walnuts, raisins, and cinnamon. If you pair that up with one of the Epic bars that we just talked about, you have yourself a healthy and filling snack idea. All right, let's take a look at the rice section because out of all these options, there is an awesome find here that I want to point out if you have never heard of it before. Plus it has the best price point. The brand of rice that I buy is from Lundberg Family Farms, and at my Walmart, they had jasmine white rice, basmati white rice, and wild rice over on the end there. I've only tried the jasmine white rice, but the reason why I like this brand is because it is organic as well as being gluten-free. And speaking of gluten-free, Walmart does have a tiny section of gluten-free items. However, as a reminder, just because something is gluten-free, it doesn't automatically mean that it is going to be healthier for you. As always, it's best to take a peek at the ingredients. There's a couple of things that I want to point out that are great though. Almond flour and coconut flour are awesome options for baking. And over here, we have some of my favorite chocolate chips from Enjoy Life Foods. We got some dark chocolate morsels and what I usually get is the semi-sweet chocolate chips. The ingredients are these are going to be a bit better and they are free of all the things that you see here including dairy and soy. Under the chocolate chips are these cocoa thins made of really simple ingredients. There is a salted caramel and a chocolate. The salted caramel is my favorite of the two flavors but overall these are a perfect snack to crumble on top of yogurt if you want just a little bit of some sweetness. All right, condiments are also an easy area to make a switch onto healthier options. We talked about ketchup earlier. I really like buying Annie's ketchup at $2.68. There is no high fructose corn syrup in the ingredient label and it is organic, which is awesome. The last thing isn't necessarily food that you would eat, but they are my favorite teas if I'm ever feeling a sickness coming on. So I definitely wanted to share these with you. The brand is Traditional Medicinals. And my favorites are the Echinacea Plus. So Echinacea helps the body fight off infections. And the minute I start to feel sick, I always buy this tea. Along with that, I get the throat coat in Lemon Echinacea. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Next week, I'll be heading over to Target. But while you wait for that, on the side here, I'll put the video on how to save money on groceries, along with another video you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday.